Excellent. Now this looks beautiful. So what do we see here? Is this uh, as classic as it can get? I see two protagonists on the left side already. Uh, well, this could enable a stun to be coming in. Do you think a stun is a good pick over here when you're facing just another simple composition? What's a good pick? Uh, so if Matthew brings faction buff for all protagonists, then this allows uh, Landius to bring a stun instead of a uh, faction buff. Yeah, I mean, that's a viable choice. Mm, yes. And he's also, Faller is also running all protagonist team. I really yeah, think. yeah, yeah. That is very true. Which is interesting. Is it full protagonist team? That would be very curious. I guess Iris is not. Um, yeah, I don't think Iris is. Um, is Julia protagonist? No, no, no. She's not. Yeah, but everyone else is actually a protagonist. And I have to say, I have faced uh, Almedas from Charlar and uh, the healing was good enough to be called a real healer. So that was very decent. In case of an emergency ne necessity of a heal. So, what do we see on the other side? It's a Yeles team, also very classic. Uh, it's uh, a Claret, enabled by the possibility of the 3C from Weiler. Uh, again, ready to jump in and try to get a kill on Landius. Yeah, I mean, Weiler is super good right now. And also... Combos really well with uh, Claret right now. So, so I think the the best question that Luxit has to ask himself is: uh, Does he think he can first shot the the first life of Landius? The problem is there's a Tiaris, and with a Tiaris, the second life is almost impossible to get. You have to kind of fall back, right, at that point. Yeah, what Tiaris? Um... Oh my God, I have seen this before. So this is actually. Maybe point by point the same composition of my first game with Charlar, and I have to say all those heals they just don't stop. Uh, and Chris's 3C hits like a truck, so Chris was able to one shot my uh, Luna with absolutely no problem, and that's a six stars Luna with all the magic defense you can imagine. Uh, I guess the Zealots helped, of course, but uh, it's very easy to underestimate such an SR character. And there we see the stun. Everyone is a protagonist, including Chris, I believe. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've been using Chris since uh, Season 1, and I also bring her time to time. Uh, I brought her probably like 3-4 times for this tournament as well. Yeah, she's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, she has a lot of utility, and also her 3C is quite strong, like you said. Yeah. Very surprising. But let's see what uh, Chris the, brings in. I guess it's a default setup. Guessing he's considering if he wants a little bit of support with AoE, but... No, I think the current setup is fine. So it changes for a... Uh, more heal on AoE, everyone else. Yeah. yeah in case he AoE, needs to heal... Yeah. Three times in a row. Yeah. A little bit surprised. No, I'm not sure about the AoE here. Yeah. This dispels two buffs. Yes, that is know. true. But the range on it is... Pretty bad on it. So it's only three, right? Hmm? Only three, if I remember correctly. Maybe uh, even four. Hog. No, I don't think it's seven. Three is two. And three. it's not a ring, so. Yeah, yeah, you have to. It's uh, player based, Hello, right? Hello, Setcake. Hey. Hello, Kautart. How are you doing? I hope the stream is showing all right. Please let me know, even five minutes later, if you can hear Straw just fine. Uh, I hope that the system is catching his voice normal as expected. I guess if you cannot hear him, you also wouldn't hear the game, so please let me know, in both cases. I have okay, my so AKA he like he wanted to the do. Heaven Scar on Clara. I advise him not to do that against Langus, but he chose to do that anyway. Mm -hmm. And would Wilder's 3C? Even what tier is that Clara can kill that land is. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Um, the problem here is whether Clara is going to die from thorns. I'm right. not sure if it's uh, land is thorns, but if it's not, it's not a problem. And we'll see. The other question is, is uh, mm -hmm. uh, can, your, can your other characters kill the rest of the people? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's possible. I don't okay. think that's a problem. I mean, there are two tanks there, and there's Rachel. Um, fair point, fair point. 
pretty much every single unit on that team is one shot from Rachel anyway. So mm, it's really not a problem. So here and comes the faction buff. pretty much protected by um, two tanks. Yeah, that's that's gonna be quite rough to get rid of. Do we know the skills in Juggler? Did you get to catch them by chance? I mean, I assume it's a big shot. Unless he's uh, using my strategy. Right. Which is the AoE on Juggler. Mm -hmm. With this kind of composition. Oh my god, there's an extra print on Almeda. <laughs> Watch out! Okay, so I guess he, he still wants to check out if there's anything interesting to do with Almeda. To be fair, the extra debuffs sometimes do crazy things. Um, yeah, but I don't think debuff is going to be a problem, right? Because we have Rachel here. And, ah, that's true. And the right. AoE damage is not going to do anything because of Juggler. Now, it will be interesting if that Chris can do something with the AoE. Yeah. I mean, a water dispel um, can still happen. Yeah. But it doesn't really do anything, though, because there's land use. Mm -hmm. The bad thing about land use stun is that it's completely cleansable, so only really a, a last time, last effort. Yeah, Fowler's team is not very strong, in my opinion. It's very reactive though, so if, if the first attack fails, if the first engagement fails, uh, the, the counter attack both damages and heals the rest of the team. Right, so Chris survives, he, she can of course shoot at someone and then heal the whole team up, and then the rest of the team is still ready to go. Well, the problem is, like I said, Rachel's just gonna one-shot their whole team, so it doesn't really matter if you can sustain, right? If mm -hmm. you just get that, if you just die in one shot. Yeah. So that's the problem here. If uh, Landius right, so, dies, then it's... That would be, of course, if Landius is no longer there. Uh, or gets beast shocked in a bad way. Okay, this is pretty good AoE here. A nice AoE. If... The Claret might. It's a. I'm not sure what got the spell. Um... Very interesting. I see the water buff still. Well, um, Lux, Lux is basically. Definitely going to go for that land use kill this turn. He's waiting until he moves his units to right. maximize his 3C on Wyler right now. So he's gonna move his Rachel and land use first and then use that Wyler 3C and then go for uh, go with the uh Claret. Right. So he's just basically waiting right now. Uh, the double tank problem is always a real thing whenever you have to Try to hit someone, there's just too many protections, too many spaces that are covered by everyone. Yeah, I mean, there are ways to deal with double tank, but this is not exactly the team composition yeah. you want to use that makes sense. against that. There even goes the first attack. But let's see, yeah. let's see how the response team goes. He goes to 3C. This might kill, this might kill, this might Oh my kill. god. Yeah. There he goes. Yeah, he's underestimating Chris there. Yeah. Because uh, Chris damage very with tough. that is actually stronger than Yulia's uh, discipline, so... Oh well, yeah, it's 1.4, yeah. right, that makes sense. And that's not even 3C, right? It was just I, the first one. Especially because Chris gets 20% of uh, damage mm -hmm. before she casts that. It's 1. Yeah, 1.6 for this. And discipline is 1.5. Right. Yeah, that's correct. Right, let's see what goes on. And to be fair, uh, so Rachel here probably will act in order to heal back, but I don't know if that's enough. Would you no, consider think, a tactical retreat? No, or I think he needs to go 3C right now. Yeah, he underestimated that, Chris. Because his <laughs> plan there was to attack with Landius and then try to kill Landius' first life with Rachel, I suppose. Right. But... Because, I mean, like I said, he's just waiting out the when to use the Wilder, Wilder 3C, but then it's kind of awkward if you just stand still with your Rachel. Right. Oh my god, that's an again, and that's... Wait, is it an again? No, it's not. Because it was killed. No, he's just healing. Just healing. Is it time okay. for a summon with a sword dance? Yeah, actually... You know what? I completely forgot about that. This could be deadly as well. Yeah.
I let's see what's the choice. You have to stand in a kinda awkward spot. You want the 3C to go up right in that center spot. Would you wait? To put the, the healing debuff later? Is there any point in doing that? Well, oh. I mean... Wait or not, I think it's basically the same thing because... Not hitting the juggler on purpose. Yeah, he doesn't have to wait because he has one more follow-up turn next right. turn. And if Faller fails that turn, it's basically over. Why would you not Healing include... Is... Sorry. Okay. Do you, do you imagine why did he not include the... The juggler, juggler. on that punch? Uh, I'm not too sure. Okay. I, I don't think he could have reached, I think. Oh, he had three moves, I think. Ah, oh well. Yeah, I Curiosity. Exactly see what happened there. Yeah, but I mean... Yeah, maybe Lux is actually listening to my advice and taking it a little slow instead of going for <laughs> the tank dive. I think yeah. he's trying to chip down land just a little bit before the cleric dives. Yeah. There it goes. Okay, not too bad. This can be healed up very quickly. There's way too many heals, especially with a... Okay, it goes for a miracle. Well, the problem here is... Uh, Fowler has only one more turn. This is this is a turn he's made his plays. Right. Because he doesn't have any more skills left. I think Almeida has one more skill. Chris has one more skill, and... And he also has a stun on Landius and... Yes, I mean, I Almeida stun. does have the, the AoE heal, right? But... Um, AoE heal? Yeah, I think Almeida has mass heal as well. Well, I mean, she doesn't have to use that. I'm, I'm talking about, like, the AoE skill. Right. He only has one more turn for, like, a full maximum strength. And if, if he doesn't make anything happen this turn, it's pretty much, I would say... Um, yeah, I think Lux is on... The better end, I suppose. Right. Well, we have to remember that uh, Landius did die one time already. Mm -hmm. And uh, if if somehow Chris manages to take the second life, then the stun on the juggler could could be leading to something. Or maybe well, the stun on something. Chris cannot kill Landius. It's just not enough firepower. He needs to chip him down a little bit. I mean, and... there's also the, the Matthew with... Uh, Attack Blessing, also not to be trifled. You mean the Commando one? Uh, no, he has Attack Blessing himself. Uh, he got AB from uh, from Tiaris. Okay, okay. Was... Ah, now comes the AoE. Oh my god, well, the range is so bad. To... <laughs> yeah, he wants to include Juggler in that though. Yeah. And this does like... Yeah, I mean... I mean, it... I used that skill once in the game. Um, the effects on it are pretty good, but the range on it is pretty. The yeah, range is pretty so far. bad. Chris cannot use swords, right? <laughs> no, Balance play time. No, <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm guessing there's ultimate quip still remaining on uh, on Almeda, and I think that can put healing debuff too. That's. So he didn't bring... Did he bring his 3C? That would be interesting. Oh, that's actually... Yeah, that's, that's actually a, not that's a... That's a kill, right? Just stun? I mean, sure, someone dies, but you just stun uh, no, Wilder? Mean, the thing is, you could attack Wilder with that, but what does that accomplish? It opens up all your units to die, and then Wilder, if he dies, it's not a bad thing either. Uh, yeah, but he dies at the end of the full next turn. You know what I mean? What do you mean? Oh, it's, uh, it's so, not gonna die this turn, you mean? Let, let's say Landius stuns him but doesn't kill him. It's two, mm -hmm. two tiles pushed and then gets in the fog and then for the whole next turn that Wilder cannot be activated until the last move. Well, that's, that's not a problem though, right? Because, I mean, Rachel can still heal and there's Juggler who can still heal. We don't really need Wilder. Wilder doesn't have any skills left except for 3C. I guess right that is also... So attacking that Wilder is a bad move. Right? Mm -hmm. I think uh, yeah, if if you attack the Wilder, then his uh, Matthew dies, his Chris dies. Basically, yeah, that is true. Dies. I think he's trying to find a good place because uh, Landius is gonna run out of defense right now. Someone could end up dying. 
Um, Janet has the horses, which means they're no good terrain for her to go around and try to get that Matthew. I think Jar may have noticed it. Yeah, I'm not sure what the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. She can't reach right now. This shock. I wish we could see the animation. There we go. Not a kill. Healing light. Then now with Almeda. Uh, oh, no moves with Almeda. Mm, that could end up with a kill. Well, the thing about Beast Shock is you get a lot of attack on it. But the right. problem is when the enemy has damage reduction, you're not going to kill. Yeah. So since he's using a red horse. Oh my yes. god. Did you see the triple uh, attack down <laughs> debuffs? <laughs> Ridiculous. I mean, that Claret now, there's no yeah, way she can really, kill him. Um, I mean, he can just use Rachel, right? And whittle down that land is and then just kill with Claret. But I mean, at this point, he doesn't need to sacrifice his Claret either. Yeah. Because does that land is have guards still? or? Uh, for this turn, then at the end of the turn, it will be out. Okay, well, he's not going to. Which is also interesting. Yeah, but I don't think yeah, the Rachel... Just to play this safely. Okay. Yeah, and the Rachel cannot reach anyone outside of the protection. Well, I mean, if she wants to heal Traveler, she could sight here. Yeah. Also, not a kill. Back. It's a very rough match at this point. Uh, hilariously, yeah, exactly. If uh, if Landius started with the defense, then he would run out of Tiari's heal and that would be dead. Without the Tiari's heal, uh, there's no way you can survive everything. So he will have to put Matthew in a boring position, but the tactical case. I mean, I, I'll say Luxit uh, is playing way too safe with Claret, though. Um, he should have went in earlier. And also, he could have cured with Rachel last turn and then went with Claret and finished off Landy's two lives and then still be under guard. So, right. Um, yeah, that's definitely play for the last round. Do you also see the stream with a few problems? Or is it yeah, just yeah, me? It's, it's light. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. Oh god, the, the gale. Well, the gale allows for another faction buff, and that's always nice. Ah, I don't know, I feel I like mean, Claret can totally still kill. She can, she can. Okay, um, now he I'm got a breather. Sure why, I'm not sure exactly why he didn't go. Yeah. Also saving this three uh three C right now. I mean Luxus sometimes is super patient. <laughs> Way unnecessarily patient. I mean you can only use the three C once, right? The whole point. Yeah, but if he waits for all his units to be done with this turn and then use three C, I think that's way too patient. So. That is true. Okay, there goes a healing light. Simple healing with Tiaris. Uh, the most important part here is putting the. Oh, did uh, Claris attack at disable the spell? Maybe that's why. I didn't. Ah, interesting. I mean, he did get attack down, so that's also huge. No, I mean, attack down is fine because Rage cured that, that turn. He could have just uh, it off. But the problem is. Uh, Chris used the AoE, which right. does two dispels, so maybe he got his, his uh, attack buff gone. That Pretty way, good. he can't really make any plays. So maybe that's why he didn't move last turn, because mm -hmm. the the play he made last turn didn't make any sense. Right. From my perspective, so... He, yeah, it seems to have been the case, because he again passed the turn. Well, this gives a little bit of time to, to share to recover the cooldowns. What's the cooldown on Retribution from Chris? Uh, I'm not too sure. Probably five, I think. That's probably the only, also the reason why it's not very good. Yeah. <laughs> I 
tempting to use uh, AoE just because you can. Oh my god, silences and... Uh, oh my god, the silence and Rachel. Yeah, I guess like it can still be killed. Oh my god, you agree with this? I mean, he was waiting, like I said, he was waiting for all his units to be I... done with this turn. So yeah, but Almeda can pick him up for free. The armors, then. Yeah. I don't think he realized. I don't think he realized. Interesting. Yeah, he definitely didn't notice. I, I really yeah, thought he would go Fowler. to a corner. Yeah, Fowler definitely saved that for Myla recently. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, some AoE has to be available at all times for so that. So that was a super misplay there. Um, his units are super weak in there. <laughs> uh, the, the... Wait, why is Rachel used already? Oh, never mind. She did act. Uh, the problem that you're facing now is that you're one down and the other person can just delay, delay, delay. This is... Yeah, I mean, it's looking pretty rough for Luxit right now. If the Clark doesn't make any plays, it's... if Clark doesn't kill this turn... Yeah. See what Matthew can do. No, it's not gonna do much. Well, it goes on the juggler and takes no damage for it. I guess that's fine. Um, Clara is definitely going to go for that kill this turn, especially because Lambius' life is low. And he just faction buff for Clara as well. So. Yes. Okay, there we go. So, Number one. Uh, the question is... Uh, oh, I should blush you. Oh my I god, the one. thorns. But can he get the five moves? Yeah, still kill. And another desperate player. player. Yeah, that's true. He doesn't need to get five moves here. Oh he my god, the four. That's enough. And nope. Oh no. Oh no, no, wow. No, no wow. I that think is, this could be over. <laughs> Maybe you needed five moves there. <laughs> See? Well it yeah, was hundred HP, right? Yeah. So Yeah, yeah, the five move would have killed that. <laughs> uh, those it's are really the times hard to get into the guard range. Yeah. Right. Those are the times where you keep saying like, "Oh my God, why did I, why did I even take the risk?" I wonder how different. Down, so it's not too bad. Yeah, I wonder yeah, how different I this believe... game would be with uh with like a damage preview. So you could be okay, sure, is it a kill? He didn't notice, but his guard is actually the spell though. Ooh, interesting. But I don't think yeah, Rachel cannot kill that Matthew right now. Mm -hmm. angels. Yeah, angels against magic is super silly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Luxa didn't notice that uh, Gar got um, dispelled though, so... I wonder if uh, Jar noticed that. Oh, he did, he ah, did. He did. There we go. He, <laughs> he didn't notice. Yeah. Still, Matthew has... Uh... Now, very rough. Yeah, it's looking rough for Luxa now. Yeah. If he actually killed Lanius, that would have been good, but... Oh my god, the three C's up again. Yeah, this is looking really bad now. Yeah. It's such a freebie as well. Costs you basically nothing. Just time. And you know what? Curse's uh, three C's coming up. That's definitely a kill on one of the tanks. And nice. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> it's not looking good. One more turn on Curse. Yeah. And he can surely make the room for one. I mean, the turn is passing over though, so maybe you need to make something happen this turn. Like, with Rachel having moved, you could totally have uh, stunned the juggler. Then you lose someone. Oh, that's actually pretty good for Luxus too. Yeah, that's a nice heal. Jared has to find a new place. Oof, that's a nothing. Yeah, that's very unlucky. Well, I'm yeah. yeah, okay. So, Lux. GG's game number one. Oh. That he should have for Yeah. So, uh, you're, you're getting cut, Straw. So, could you repeat the last thing while we go into game number two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, there we go. Nope. Just that father was going in, and 
was a downtime on this side. And I'm sorry, Straw. Something is going on, and I can barely hear you. And I guess so. So is for the stream. Try again. Hello. Hello. Still coming up. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna quickly stop watching and then rejoin. Ah, maybe we should ask other people to. Never mind. This should be on Discord. I'll be right back. Let's see if this helps. Hello, can you hear me again? Mm -hmm. Alright, I think it's still very laggy. Maybe we need to close uh, channels like this so that we don't get a lot of people joining it. I don't know if that would even help. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Um, I mean, maybe it's on the Discord server, right? Just not keeping up. Yeah, it has to distribute the voice for everyone, right? Stream, uh, on the one that's hosting, mm -hmm. so on this side, but the... I'm not sure. I can hear I'm sorry, you're... I can barely hear you. What I... No, I, I... Basically, I'm getting absolutely nothing. Yeah. Alright, so we're, we're gonna look into how can we solve this, and in the meantime, we are kinda lucky that we have this downtime from the players trying to uh, collect their thoughts and then organize the next match. In the meantime, we're gonna look. Because here is. Sadly for me, it's, it's not even sounding at, at all. Um, I see a lot of people in the chat. Dango, Jorek, Azuchio, can you. Can you hear Straw correctly? Can you hear me correctly? Is everyone lagging for each other? Okay, the players are still trying to arrange uh, player one to have it in the right order. There we have Hasuji. I wonder if it's coming back on my end. Okay, so if it's coming, I basically I cannot hear anyone else. So if everyone else can hear each other, please send me a message through Discord, and uh, I'll see what I can do about this. Uh, the stream is coming all right, so maybe I will just continue that for now. All right, the second match is underway, and we immediately see a respect ban on Zerida, and then a first pick of Landius, of course. On looks it. Yeah, I mean. It was pretty obvious, right? I'll ban that. <laughs> uh, is Luxis Serida known for being an, a destructive component? No, I mean, it's just all their equipment, so. Mm -hmm. I am so sorry, Straw. I can barely hear you. Did anyone yeah, else in yeah. chat confirm if this is going well or bad? We can hear everyone just fine. Ooh, so it's actually just me. It could be the fact that I'm trying to stream maybe at the same time, and that's really bad. Um, can I even try to solve this? I'm gonna restart Discord really quick, so uh, I'll be right back. Sorry, everyone, and then we'll do. And then we do. Wow, I had like seven windows of Discord open. We do Discord. Push it here. Reactivate. Back server. Go back to the stream. And we are live once again. Hey, hello everyone. I hope you can hear me fine. I hope I can hear you all fine as well. Uh, in, I would pick Liana or Wyler here. Alright, so I can hear Straw once again. That makes me happy. So welcome back everyone. Or he's just cool. Yes. I don't necessarily need to on all this trail. Okay, so... Oh wait, am I muted? No, I am fully speaking. Good. 
So we see a formation of a very different team this time. There's an Illustrial who now has her uh, special gear to dodge guards. And then there's a Claret who also can easily threaten a juggler. So uh, I feel like looks like it's going a little bit more aggressive than before. We see a Julia, we see an Iris. What can Iris potentially teleport? A Julia, I guess. Ben is good there. Also the... Uh... Uh, Luna Van, I think Illustrial can snipe that. So. Mm -hmm. Is that a layout clear? I wonder really what is going on with the choppy voices. Uh, so it, it is now confirmed that it is on my side, and I have no idea what is going on. Um, would it be crazy to request of people to leave the chat? Do we think this could potentially make a difference? I mean, we don't have to ask them. We can just go to the private channel, which is down below. Um, uh, yeah, can but uh, can we do that and still watch the stream? Yeah, what do you mean? I could just uh, move him down there. Ah, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Actually, you know what? Now I can hear you fine. <laughs> the irony. I believe we killed the stream. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. I think moving him killed the stream. <laughs> I mean, we are very yeah. sorry, everyone. Uh, we like doing things like this. Are you writing to Jar? Yeah. Okay. Rip. Oh, he, he, he did. Okay. There we go. Okay, I can hear you fine. The stream is coming through clearly. I don't know if it was exactly that, but I feel good. Okay, so how did the team end up with another Almeda? That's interesting. I wonder if there's any spell in Almeda that we don't know that makes her more valuable to be a last pick. Can she give any type of strength? No, no. So what I do mean, we see? I would say, I would say that Illustrial is capable of killing any of the units except for a juggler and Yulia. Yeah. Also, that... I mean, we have gospel, so... Uh, especially in this map, where the center is just full of special terrain. I think Illustrial has basically free movement in this map. You... Wow. I really think it's my connection, guys. I really think it's just on me. I, again, cannot hear anyone. Uh, yeah, I mean, just pretend you hear me, and then I'll just... Uh... <laughs> well, actually, for some things you come through, and then there's just a choppy lag mess. really wonder what's going on. Can I lower the quality of the stream that I'm getting in? Uh, don't think so. There's just nothing to it. Sometimes it just works fine, sometimes I lag. I know I'm not doing anything else, uh, so it's not like the internet is competing against anything. We'll see. Maybe it fixes itself. The first game... Uh, <laughs> people are offering like five minutes ago when I asked if someone could check on the stream. <laughs> so cute of them. Alright, the game is on then. Uh, I'm gonna try to cast, and if Straw, uh, sorry, if my connection decides to work once again, then uh, we can co-cast once again. The danger here, in particular, is with Claret and with uh, Alostriel. Alostriel can absolutely go anywhere she wants, except on the current starting position, which is really, really insane if you think about it. Uh, especially because it means on the second turn, just by moving forward a few steps, uh, she can basically reach the hole non-fog map. So I think uh, whatever Fjarlar goes right now will be a determina determining factor on where uh, Luxit will move the Illustria. So we will see what happens for now. Uh, it's also important that Illustria could also get an again if it's capable of sniping out an important target. However, that will be a trade and it has to be the most important target. And I really don't think any of the three supports 
because you cannot one-shot Julia. Um, any of the three supports will be such a determining factor. Okay. Alright, what do we see? Yeah, I, I think actually uh, Luxit is just in a prime position thanks to the Venom pick. Uh, I think even Serida would have been less threatening than this uh, than this Alostriel, which is a little bit crazy to say, I guess. Um, however, ah, well, you actually have some way to give Alostriel some damage, which is uh, Gospel. I really don't think you need um, Leonhard particularly to deal more damage than what he does already. Especially because it's all gonna get healed up. So it, I think Leonhard's role here is purely a dispel uh, if it's needed. I see this and I just become sad. Alustriel at this point can target any single tile. And the only way uh, Fjar has to counter this is to put bodies on the way. Uh, which kind of would have put a little bit more value on any summoner because just summons get in the way. Alright, Triton buff goes up. Uh, there's also another important thing to notice. As long as you're more than two tiles away from uh, a special terrain, there's also no place for Illustrial to get you. So I guess there could be a mistake from Luxit coming out, uh, trying to attack from planes, ignoring terrain, and that won't have uh, ignoring cover, and that actually will not work. I gotta say. These people have way more patience than me, because I am incapable of <laughs> holding back so far. I think it is very important for them to remain calm, and uh, Darla is trying his best to find at least one position where things work out. Um, I would like to know if uh, Fjar brought the water buff, or what the debuff rather, about a water AoE on Juggler, because maybe that would modify how Illustrial moves in the map. However, at this point, he's not even in range of Alustriel's AoE. Alustriel also has uh, an El Ulr's bow. I think, oof, I think that's a choice. Um, you don't get to use any of your skills if you're at 3 range. Uh, however, you get to, for example, in this case, touch at least on that Julia if you wanted to do so. Uh, so it's actually 3 spots away that you need to take care of. Another good way to cancel um, how things go uh, is to actually sit on the special terrain, right? So if Juggler sits on the forest and then Julia on the other forest, uh, it would mean... Ooh, that, was, that could have been very dangerous. It would mean that uh, the spaces are no longer available, so the people three tiles behind would actually be safe. But at that point you are just basically body blocking. And I don't know, I feel like all Luxit has to do is just wait it out. Any, any few more turns and then everyone will be in range to just get attacked. Garret is uh, only having to move 5 tiles to just still also cover the entire screen. And there's really nothing more than uh, that Karlar can do to set up, right? Sometimes you need to do uh, faction buff and then the transformation with Yusuke for example. But at this point I don't know if uh, he really needs to do much more. I wonder if he has the Great Dragon buff with a uh, juggler, to at least have more chances of keeping the water buff up when you get dispelled. <laughs> Looks it knows this is that all he has to do is wait. The fog is the biggest opponent right now. And there's, uh, there's not much room to wiggle once you start getting close to that forest. I think he will really have to consider where to go with this juggler. See that there's also a, a beast. The beast shock. So if he gets to use it, that will be cool. But who knows who dies on the way there. Um, it is important that Star remembers that without uh, without special terrain, um, Alustriel cannot do her special thing. But of course, it also means that you need to start finding good places to protect your people. I don't know if waiting it out here will make any sense. Uh, mass attack was used by Chris, and 
is no Varna, she cannot keep it up forever. So this means it will run out on turn 3, just like any type of guard skill. There is a teleport, so maybe what, uh, what Ferrar will try to do... Ooh, that's throwing someone forward. Ah, he's counting the 5 tiles, I think. Um, the one thing that can happen, of course, is uh, you send Julia forward and then you put uh, you put your super debuff on that Alostriel. Because uh, if I remember correctly, the way it works is that the slow applies first, which means the guard is no longer up. And then if you kill the Alostriel, your whole game opens. I think maybe he's just counting on that. So who's remaining to stop the teleport right now? Only only Liana. Would you jump in right now? I think it is possible. Can Chris heal? No. So maybe it is time for teleport. Ooh. That would be cute. A teleport on the juggler could also work. One, two, three, four, five. I think I think the count gives exactly the location of the tower. Tower's always preferred for its 30% extra defense. And uh, considering we see absolutely no one with magical damage, at Liana, uh, it seems like it could be an option. I still would absolutely consider throwing the Julia forward because I am an aggressive person and I have no patience. <laughs> um, throwing forward Chris would just throw her to her death. I cannot remember if Alustriel has a possibility to move back after attacking, so I think this is just a waiting period. Okay, so the Alustriel gets thrown backwards and he's now calculating if he can get in range. And the answer is yes still, because he has uh, beautiful um, boots. Breeze buff, there we go. The restraint shown by Fshar is monumental. I really hope it all works out for him because he seems to be calculating every single tile. Is he counting where to teleport or is he counting to do the move? That would be the interesting question. Uh, there's also the possibility... One, two, four, five, yeah. So there's no place where Liana can move and block the positioning for uh, for this attack. Actually, there is. One, two, three... No, there's not. I'm sorry. Yeah, yes, there is. There is. If Liana moves exactly to that position, he would indeed get... Uh, get in the way of this attack. Uh, that's, uh, that's a huge misplay. Um, the Ilya's dead from Pirates. Uh, well, he does get to teleport something, so maybe the teleport is on oh, Juggler. Yeah. Card, yeah. And now I can hear you fine, Straw, so I'm happy you have joined us again. Actually, that my connection has let you join. <laughs> so now Beast Shock becomes a very tough thing. If, uh, if you kill the Juggler, then the Julia gets you. If you kill, if you no, do anything I mean, else, then Bishop can get Alostriel. What I can do is just attack uh, Yulia and then just run back in front of Landius. Mm -hmm. That way, one of the healers has to heal Yulia. She well, won't be able to jump in I'd... when she's zero HP. Right. I mean, she she can. <laughs> how, how far can oh, Alostriel go back? Uh, so I believe it's. Two steps, but with all the with their talents, she can move all the with way the free back. moves. Uh, does does the the extra moves from the talent reset after attacking, or is it using the same as you just used when moving, like the total what? amount? Uh, no, 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 it's it's just it's just whenever you move. Oh god, that's brutal. I mean, there are people who could heal the Julia anyway. Uh, I made yeah, that just by moving. Okay, Go straight for Chris and get the Chris. I'm not sure about this. I mean, who's going to punish you? Not even Julia reaches. And if Julia moves, she's dead, so... If he could have, if he cares, that would have been a better play. Mm -hmm.
I mean, Julia can absolutely attack, but then she dies to Claret. So the question is, does Juggler move back to provide support? Is that Master of Ice? I think that was Master of Ice. Yeah, even with this move, Yulia really can't do anything. There's only yeah. two range attack. That's not going to kill Landius. Yeah. So it's not very effective. Yep, yep. So I didn't think... Well, I mean, I guess Illustrial's fine turn, but it's going to die next turn. Interesting. Is there it's any funny to me why he didn't bring Heaven's card this game? Yeah. Against Is there any point in just throwing your juggler into Claret with a beast shock? Like who no, dies no if you point. do that? Nobody dies. Right. Yeah, which could be good, right? It allows you to move your, your Julia backwards. No, but if if juggler moves, um Leonhard could kill Yulia. Right. Does he have one AoE and then one single target skill? That's Which a good question. He does. That is indeed a good question. Juggler. Especially now that they're in line, it could be easier AoEs to hit. Yeah, I guess what's bad for Juggler is that his water buff is running out now too. So. Yeah, I'm not too sure about the red horse on Lima either on this map. That's mm -hmm. pretty bad. Yeah. There's not much space he can move around yeah. to make any moves. To be fair, if the AoE hits your juggler, does Julia really die? Mm, yeah. Um to be fair, I believe Jar will get first turn next turn, right? Well, Beast Shock in itself is not an option because he loses water and just dies to Claret after. Yeah. Or even I think Leonhard can kill that. Yeah, but I think I think your uh, as long as Claret hasn't moved, your juggler dies anyway, and there's an again waiting for Claret anyway. So there's seven million ways in which this juggler dies. I would even consider the dispel on on the sword just on. Okay, okay. so he's going for that juggler. Okay, actually. Yeah. He might not be able to because he can't move. He can't hit with his AoE. Interesting. But also, Julia won't be able to hit. Ah, uh, you know what? She can go back and kill Illustrial, maybe. She can do that, or she can just move out with the juggler. Oh, uh, something I didn't notice. So not only does Alustria has Ulrus, she's also using uh, vampires. Uh, sorry, gargoyles, which means she, uh, at two range she has better hit. Okay. And but if you do this, right? You yeah, just act again. Thing. You just act again, Clarence. Yeah. And, it's... and then it just kills uh, Yulia. So Yulia has to either I mean... run away, which she can't. So she has to go right next to Juggler. Yeah, but then someone else dies, so might as well do so, it a trade rather than a free. Julia is actually dead now. Yeah. Unless unless she moves to the juggler. But but I think you know what? It's fine. I would so Julia goes back, kills the Alustriel. Julia dies. Something kills the Alust the the Claret. Um, I mean uh, Almeda has the archers as the first unit, so a little bit of extra damage, right? Yeah. It's, it's uh... not terrible. Two for, no, it's not two for one. It's a I one for one because you already lost someone for free. Uh, assuming, well, of I course. Mean, Clara's gonna die as well. That's the thing. Yeah. So it's two for one, actually. Ooh, maybe, maybe it goes maybe, for the juggler indeed. Maybe it's not gonna go for Yulia. I will go for that Yulia. Huh. <laughs> Making you use yeah, the extra that's, turn. That's, that's, that's a free kill on you. But I mean, he could do this. I mean, he could just wait for the lightning to come back. Yeah. Uh, especially now that he has a uh, second player turn, 
uh, it means you have all the time in the world. And this way, he doesn't lose Claret. So yeah. Maybe this is a better move. That is indeed true. And what are these people gonna do? Yeah. I feel like this is very much over. Throw that shield. Yeah. So there's a little bit of misunderstanding on Clara versus Julia. So Holy Peg obviously is best against Julia, but Griffin will still kill. Yes. Um, and the only problem with that is if Yulia had Godly Manus, Griffin's not going to kill. Because of the damage you take? kill the first life and then she's yeah. going to heal back the second hit. So. Yeah. But without that, that Yulia's dead. Especially with no faction buff. Uh, do you think you could maybe go into like an emergency mode where you make a tiny shield around Julia? Mm, I don't think that'll help. Yeah, I know Claret can move the whole field, but... Well, I mean, Claret doesn't have her lightning for a while anyway. Yeah. So, stay for now. So actually putting Julia forward would make even more sense. But grouping them together like that, you're, you're in danger of Ligon Heart. Yeah, that makes Heart sense. Because Ligon Heart can't just AoE and then kill Julia. And the match is pretty much over after that. Yep, yep. Well, I guess at least Almeda will get to attack once. <laughs> Do some nice AoE. I mean, silence is a thing, right? So... Okay, so he seems to be going for that tiny formation uh, where he can protect Julia from... Yeah, I mean, the longer he waits, more chance he's going to die. <laughs> Once that Clara's thing gets back up, it's pretty much over. Yeah. Uh, to be fair though, it should come up after Jardin the Iris is back. Jardin the Iris. Uh, so maybe you try to do something in the last ditch yeah, effort. Yeah, I mean that's the that's the only chance he has. So okay. He has to make some plays. Maybe he should also try to fish for a position where Breeze would turn that into a hit. Right, because he gets first turn no matter what. Yeah, Breeze fishing, and there we go. There's a Breeze. Okami-san, thank you very much for the sub. Now that I have changed this into a sub counter, it makes me happy. It's also what, the seventh month? Wow, that's crazy. Thank you very much. We go for one, and the pink thingy moves. Please remember also, and especially now that we have Straw here in the channel, uh, the tournament is running also on the donations of everyone, and it's even possible to donate for free if you just go to the website, especially in the wiki Grisser uh, section where you can find all this information. Uh, it is possible to boost the tournament prices for everyone and also accumulate uh, some donations so that the organizers, of course, including Straw, uh, can maybe think of an another season. I have heard already some cool ideas so for now we're pretty sure uh, going for normal stuff, but in the future, who knows, there could be super crazy tournaments going on. So the real question is, do you go in, Straw? Do you just punch the Julia, teach her a lesson? Do you kill someone else? No, no, he doesn't have to. Game is pretty much on his side, looks his side, if he just waits. Right. So he doesn't need to rush anything. Right, right, right. Do you have any fear on the Julius uh, Breeze? No. Because uh, Iris cannot follow up. She can't heal. There's only Almeida. Ooh. That, that's a challenge. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean it's a good teleport. Yeah, he also doesn't even need <laughs> the Aries. It's not a good teleport because... Of the horses? Oh, of the horse, yes. Yeah, but if you kill everyone else, then it's just a Julia match. But is this a good move? Can't Julia kill Claret now? I'm I think sure. she can. Oh yeah, but, but he's baiting that because he's trying to use his lean heart. Um, He's trying to use his lean heart. Well, it would not work if she went not in the forest, but she went to the forest, so that's the problem. Hmm, I think if she had stood in the but, bottom position, there's the no AoE. Is, can the Leonard kill? That's a good question, especially without buffs, without even the teleport buff. Yeah, I don't think... 
I don't think he can. I kill still him. think it's a kill. Uh, I think. No, because he she has godly menace. And she's oh, with him. godly menace, then oof, no, oof, oof, oof. To kill. And I'm pretty sure Landius cannot reach either. So that was, a, that was a huge misplay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he's gonna send Lena, he needed to just not use uh, Clarence. Yeah. Where do you put Iris now? You kinda want her to go away. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. the Gali can get stripped. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, yeah but if Iris, stripped. I think at this point but I would move. Yeah. Uh, let's see if he can do. Well, he can't even. Not even in range. Horses. Yeah. Not in range. Also, attacking into Godly Menace hurts so much. It's just ridiculous sometimes. If you don't get the AOE heals, ah, there's an act again. That makes things way harder for Julia. Way deadlier. Okay, he tries to dispel. I'm not sure what this does. I guess yeah, get rid okay, of that. gets rid of Godly Menace. <laughs> Is that 70% health? I don't think so. I think that Julia would live. Yeah, she will live. Bing. She will heal. And then... Yeah, I think Luxin made this game harder for himself. Yeah, that is Mainly for sure. Mainly because of red horses and the play he made last turn. Yeah. Or the turn before that. Okay, but now at least uh, Julia has the, the Iris buff. A little bit of healing if you let the turn go. Maybe you can make something happen. And you attack here oh, into... Julia, Julia has range here though. Oh, you could just, just attack uh, Diana. Yeah, yeah, I like he can't that. Kill, but she's gonna heal. Yeah. Very mm, but the dispel. Yeah. No, it's, it's uh, no, but that Landius cannot reach. So that's good positioning for Julia. Mm. Oh, oh. <laughs> never mind. Yep. Never mind, sorry. Goodbye. Yep. Wow, and this is only game number two. Oh no, is he gonna go for it? Yeah, game All right, three, yeah. game number three. Wow, what a match we got in the end. Also, you're coming through just fine, Straw. I'm very happy that the stuttering has stopped. Okay. Oh, he has a lot of crystals there. <laughs> a good number, right? But yeah, you know, Deedlit is coming. Hmm? Uh, Deedlit is coming, so a lot of people will jump into that. Yeah, yeah, she's a good unit. What is this secret tech? What is this change of blood pack for something else? Ooh, you know what? I wonder if... Oh, fixed damage prevention. That's that's gonna stop the Claret kill. Secret techniques by Fjar. All right, we are going to game number three. <laughs> Please no special terrain. Fuck your Illustrial. That's what the map choice will be. <laughs> yeah, I think he's going to pick a map that... Yeah. There's no... Yeah, I mean, the desert map's pretty good against Illustrial. And also the flying map is okay. There's a grass in the middle and two trees, I believe. One tree? Right. Is there a tree? No, no trees. Just grass, yes. Grass yeah, but the, the, the flying middle. map is the one particularly with literally no terrain. Well, I mean, there's grass. You can still ignore guard, though, on grass. Oh so my god, that's like crazy. Mm -hmm. e. So I guess what you lose on the desert is that uh, there's a lot of spotted places where Illustrial gets a free move and, and an attack. But it's a, a, lot, a lot more places. clunky to use, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, the flying map and doesn't matter. Uh, wait, teams. do do we have a question? Is it for us? No, they're they're going to a restaurant. Okay, okay. Yeah. But they're very close games, both games. Also. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. All right. We're at basically winners top 16 now, so all the matches are going to be pretty interesting. Also. Hey, it feels pretty good that they're so close, right? Makes it for interesting yeah. casting as well. 
Yeah, my own games are pretty close as well. I just like woke up and <laughs> I didn't play that well, like first two games. <laughs> <laughs> it happened. Yeah, okay, the battle is over, congratulations! <laughs> I have no idea why Zilong made the choice to change this for who gets player one. Uh, I think that it, whomever invites this player one rule was very easy to understand. And I have no idea why it changed. Here we go again. All right. Nope. Same situation. But I randomize again because this is how fun is defined. How is everyone doing in the meantime on the event? Have you farmed everything already? I heard from Nitro that it's like 81 runs just to get all the materials. Alright. Are they gonna try again? Whenever things stop, I have to wonder if they're trying to talk to us. Doesn't seem to be the case. Maybe they're just whispering to each other, that's not possible. In the end, please remember, the most important part is that this is a friendly tournament, so all player interactions usually end up for organization purposes into nice things. Let's see if the secret technology changes again. Uh, also, please remember, it is possible to change uh, your unit composition, your box, between the matches. Uh, both in uh, the units that you bring and also the equipment that they are using. It looks like we are ready to try again. <laughs> I hope they don't use that rule because it seems to be pretty buggy right now. we go. Will it be correct? First. Nice. So the game is on. It's now time for the bands. Um, set kick. I know this will come super late, but it's actually a best of three. The problem that we are, they're having and the reason why they're giving up is because uh, the loser is supposed to go as first player on the next match. And uh, because of the new randomization rules, they had to restart over and over. We see a Landius ban immediately and countered by... Would it be a, a Zerida ban? I don't know if I like Zerida on this map. Moving is so hard. Uh, it can be blocked so easily with just uh, a tank, of course, at the door of the gates. Pillars. So the decision on who to ban first here will be really important. I would even consider banning Claret. But goes for the Zerida ban, goes for the safe choices. Picks up the juggler and prepares for what's the rest of the match. Uh, Mystic Knight is especially annoying in this map because she gets to use a 3 ring attack from extremely far away. There we go with uh, and Claret Bands, make sure that there's no jumpy flying things killing you from across the screen. And on the other side, Jagler is indeed not a protagonist, but everyone else here remaining on the list is one, except Iris. Goes for the Matthew, or not. Right, the Luna. Luna here would try to get a boost if, uh, if Jagler decides to bring faction buff. If there is enough time for that, there's one technique that a lot of people forget about, that is the double-triple movement, and that could be extremely deadly. If you are willing to throw your Luna forward 
uh, especially if there's like one turn remaining and someone is outside of range, you can do three, uh, Wind Spiral, 3C, and then end up with like 11 tiles moved, something ridiculous like this. Uh, and you can still land a pretty hefty hit because you have the faction buff from Juggler. Alright, Mystery Knight shows up, as I was mentioning before. Now chooses to consider the Rachel. Uh, Rachel is always in a particularly weird spot because she's protagonist and Yeles. And uh, because Landius usually ends up banned, your only other chance would be to bring Matthew or to bring Gospel with her. At this point, uh, I think Gospel would make a lot of sense. Uh, Tiaris is immediately picked. I hope that Tiaris remains always in range of Landius. Checks if there's any more heals to ban or danger units. The problem right now is that if you leave too many healers up, uh, jumping in to kill one healer is just not enough to cover it, right? However, with Landius there, the Rachel is probably gonna be the pick. On this side, uh, I feel like you're in a weird position. You probably will have to bring either Chris for the attack sap, uh, or maybe Liana for a second gospel. I don't think Lambda fits anything here. Uh, without without uh, the Yeles buff and without Matthew, there's not much Lambda can do alone. So Aliana would make perfect sense here. Problem is, if you pick Liana, you're gonna end up uh, with uh, Iris and uh, Iris and Almeda as the last picks, because the bands are gonna go Chris and to Lambda. Maybe even Lambda gets left over. Lambda and Iris. I think I would even pick Lambda. Maybe there's something fun you can do with her. It does have all the reset cooldowns things. Okay. So the juggler comes up as the other pick. So now the decision on Luke on uh, Jar is to ban all the heals remaining. But that's not possible because there's always more healers. So it goes for the option where only healers are remaining in that case. So that the choice has to be. There's one problem though, the Liana. And Liana on the second player has a free again, and with a free again comes free attack. Maybe two. Ah, oh! Never mind, I was. Interesting, interesting that the choice is never the other one. Alright, but it seems like it's time to bring a faction buff. Juggler? Ah, no, 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 because. Choosing to go for print. Indeed. Oh. <laughs> Making me say many things until he chooses. Ooh, not even faction buff. I'm gonna give you mass resist with both my units. Or one of my units. Not even again. I think that could be a mistake. Uh, if you end up as a player two at any point in the game, you can use your again. For great strength. 3C for Rachel, nope. Denied. Turns into a scythe, a uh, double single target spell, because there's a juggler. Oh no, demolish. Not Arcane Blast. I think Arcane Blast here would be amazing because there is a Liana and there's a Tiaris. If you could reach and kill them, there is no faction buff for them. So, uh, actually, okay, for Tiaris, there could be a juggler faction buff. Interesting choices. I guess those are all dispels, right? Maybe I'm incorrect. I don't remember all the spells. Okay. Well, at least you know that with the summon and with the with the juggler, you're gonna be able to block up the passages as much as you need. And then the the Luna will always be dangerous at all points, especially if she uh, if she's able to jump in. Full power and attack. Okay, so Bakiri, do you want to cast one more game after this? I don't think so. It's actually okay. quite late here. Okay, okay. Uh, this ended up taking way longer than expected. So we are ready to wrap it up with the third game between Luxit and Char. And I think I heard you said Liana doesn't have a gun on the first player side. Yeah. Okay, I know that. So, yeah. 
so what happens is usually player one again is not really good so it's understandable but then when there's liana on the other exactly. side yes you have to bring again to counter yes. that i i also i also agree on that uh i think it's even considerable in a situation like this to bring uh, no one cost and just bring the again as well uh, because i yeah. understand he needs all the skills however do you really need the single target skill when you still have an iris that is a yeah, good question you have two healers also you have rachel who's yeah like a pseudo healer so uh, there's also the option that Shar never upgraded uh, Lee enough to have uh, all the skills. Mm -hmm. Six points. So what do you think about the technique of uh, double triple move uh, with uh, with Luna? Would you have considered that here? Double triple move. Yeah, does if you bring. Spiral and then yeah. He, uh, does he? Did he bring it or? Uh, he did not. That's what I was wondering. Of course, you can still teleport. Uh, with Iris? No, I mean, I don't think it's a good move because there are two tanks, right? Yeah, and there's also two healers, so that's pretty bad. But if you if you get uh, someone key, usually in other situations, it could be considered. Because, I mean, if you don't catch it, you can catch them off guard, and then you can try to reach them yeah. and snipe them. But, yeah, usually. It's very gimmicky play. Yes, absolutely. So, if and your opponent catches it, then it's just... Your yeah, it's, just it's basically over. Yeah. This I thing mean, Luna's role in this game is not necessarily damage, though. She just pokes a little bit. Right. And uh, fishes for that Curse Lance proc. And then she's basically protecting the team from MK. That's why she was picked up second pick. Yeah, that makes so. sense. Because huh? otherwise, that MK is gonna one shot that juggler. But <laughs> Luna is gonna be, it's gonna be close. Yeah. Because um, Luxus still has attack blessing, so. We'll yeah, see. that's very brutal. Uh, but I mean, he still has Iris, who can teleport his juggler, give twenty percent damage reduction as well. True. So, so I don't think MK can one shot. But how? Like, what is your plan to beat the opponent, though? On Luxus side? No, on Shar. Uh, Luxus has the MK, right? It's probably where most of the danger would come from. And the tanks, of course. Uh, but with such a setup, I guess you count on your Rachel one-shotting something, but is that really going to happen? Uh... Like you, you need the Luna to do a miracle. How do you kill stuff? That's what I'm wondering. Oh, it depends. I mean, you still have... I think he brought B-Shock. Yeah. Um, you have one AoE from... Actually, I don't agree with that Demolish. Demolish is such a bad spell for Rachel. Yeah, I was also wondering about Demolish. Uh, but I think he's kind of addicted to Dispelling. And Demolish <laughs> is only one Dispel. Yes. Or he was going for a little bit of stall play and the cooldown on Demolish is faster. It's only uh, three is turn it... cooldown, so... Is an arcane blast three as well? No, it's five. I see. Yeah, Would you so have considered uh, no gospel three uh, C and AOE? Is there any point in that? No gospel. What's that? No gospel. Uh, to bring the three C and another AOE with Rachel. Oh uh, yeah, you could have done that as well. Um, but AOE here is not. Yeah, it's not gonna cut too it. Too effective because of two healers and there's a juggler yeah so i think a single target would be better here uh, in, a, in a better situation of course if your rachel has all the buffs that she could ever use could maybe one shot one of these healers especially because they're both mages and arcane blast has that extra on mages but i don't mm -hmm. think the buffs are accumulated on this rachel uh, you would need like a faction buff and then some attack pluses uh, like iris teleport and Even with Varna, I don't think most units will get one shot. I mean, with Var Varna, it's possible. Yeah. Depends on the healers, but definitely not Luxids. Yeah, Luxids um, that also makes sense. Luxids are pretty top tier, so... What I have seen is a, a magic eye from Joshua being able to one shot some healers. Well, I mean, it's, I think that's easier because... <laughs> of, uh, yeah, Joshua's a monster. Yes, that is very true. 
Okay, he goes in for the attack, does not find the kill. You know, if he actually used the... Yeah, if... Well, I mean, he needed to go. He wanted to go before Luna comes in. Right. But if there was a melee range, he would have killed that. That was unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Or if he had attack blessing there. Right. I guess that is a strong reason to use attack blessing earlier. Uh, if there was a teddy bear also, would you have considered just throwing the attack blessing in? Ooh, no attack from Luna. I guess there is also a heal, so what's the point? Let's see what the next move will be. I guess the question right now is uh, Miracle or Attack Blessing, and the answer is Attack Blessing. Uh, the special skill was used, but any oh, heal right kill. now. That's a kill. No, sorry? that's not a kill. Sorry, sorry. Not yeah, kill. I think without the skill, it's probably not gonna be a kill. Yeah, it's not going to kill. Nope. Ooh, wow. Yeah. And with the block, even less. You know, Fowler's plays are very interesting. It feels like he's pretty comfortable on this map, that's why he picked it. Yeah. He teleported his juggler forward, so he's gonna take over the middle. Yeah. And his plan is to basically stall. So you which... think he's planning to make a wall? Well, I mean, not necessarily, but I think he's trying to take over middle. I think. I mean, the wall and would maybe... certainly work. But it's uh, maybe many too, too many turns remaining. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's why he brought angels for that right. strategy. But I'm not a stall player myself, so yeah. For me, this is very interesting. The kind of choices he just made. Right. Especially with the uh, Rachel's AoE, which is Demolish. So, yeah. So, I mean, that will work better as the uh, dull kind of lineup. That is true. But you have to hold on for so many turns. You really think that uh, one juggler can do that? I mean, you, you're limiting the space for the Mystic Knight to reset her talents. So that is also another thing. Yeah, I'm not too sure, but I mean, that's that's uh, Fowler's game plan. Yeah. Um, that's his win condition, or the one that he chose. Yeah, that makes sense. So we'll see if his plan works out. Uh, and any turn that is not damaged is just a better turn for, for Jar. He moved away from uh, the range of, of this Rachel, who is now suffering. I don't think I would even attack. Like this is this is not your plan. Your plan is not attacking. I mean, he can certainly poke, but he used up all his healers, though. Yes, exactly. A little bit too dangerous. But I mean, even if his HP is low, he's not really in danger of anything. Right. Because that MK is not going to do much damage with the AOE anyway. Right. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, he's just trying to trap them in. Yeah, but there's no debuff, so what is this gonna accomplish? Yeah, I'm not sure. His playstyle is very unique, that's all I can say. That's very true. Um, The plays he's trying to make is very interesting. The reason, I mean, the even the reason he chose this map is... Yep, yep, just yep. to stall out the enemy and trap the enemy in. Hmm, hmm, first act again. I think I think actually this is what he was uh, afraid of, and that was a very okay, so smart move. He's trying to kill that juggler. He's trying to kill that juggler with uh, MK and... Um... Well, it is... But only one person will be able to punch. Really a good move? I mean, there's an AoE, yes. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, that's still a kill, yeah. Yeah, I didn't notice. Um, he brought two single targets, so... Oh, wow, that's a very yeah. good idea. I believe that's game over then. What yeah, can you do at this point? Easy right there. Yeah, that's pretty cheap. Yeah, very good place from Luxed there. Yeah.
Um, I think his initial plan was to damage Juggler and then kill, finish off with his own Juggler V-Shock. Right. But this worked out way better than <laughs> what I expected. Yeah. Is there... I mean, you, it's fine to fight to the end, uh, especially because uh, there can always be a mistake on the side of the enemy. Because so... I'm not sure, because I mean, you know how MK attacked from that side? Right. And Luna was kind of far away? Yeah. If you guard somebody else away from the aura, you are not in that aura. aura. You're not in the aura. Yeah. Maybe that's why. Yeah, that's that's why it killed them. Because that juggler did not get the um, the magic aura. Yeah. Yeah. And now and that magic Rachel, knight didn't die, I think. Yeah, that's pretty much over. Yep, yep. I mean, Iris has sorceresses, so watch out. Uh, we always support all players to fight it to the end, especially if they know uh, that they learn anything from doing the attacks, right? So you can check, for example, now, yeah, my Rachel without faction buff cannot kill this MK, so I should not try this in the future. Uh, you can always obtain more information, and once you know, once you have enough, like for example now, it is safe to I give mean, up. Also, he didn't even sight. He brought the healing skill, right? Yep. So that that doesn't really do that much damage. Yeah, I think I think he was really betting on that delay strategy. It was a very good try. However, the positioning was very tricky because mm -hmm. always one beast shock could end everything. So congratulations to um, to Luxit for moving forward, and Char will now go into the losers bracket where he can still climb all the way back and maybe have his revenge. So GG's maybe ah we have to find the chat here. Oh, I also I cannot announce the GGs on the on the stream. <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, by typing it. Before you log off, yeah, I think it would be nice if you could raid uh, Dangos because he's, right. he's casting a Manson. Okay, then let's do that. If I find out how to do that. Okay, you haven't done that yet. I have never done that yet. So ah, actually, I already found it. You found um, it? I don't see Dango online. I see Michusak. So should we go there? No, um, Dango's not online yet. Let me nope. ask real quick. Right. So in the meantime, I am going to do... Where is it? Where is it? This. And uh, either just wait a few minutes uh, until the raid of uh, Dango's channel begins, or if you want, you can head over there already. By the time you hear this, uh, it is very likely that Dango's stream will be up. So I think I am going to then end it here. I'm going to write. Uh, Mijuzak's channel. Actually, no, I'm not gonna press anything. I'm gonna break stuff. Yeah, actually, this makes sense. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to end the stream here. Thank you all very much for joining. I know you're hearing this uh, many minutes late. However, it was uh, a lot of fun to cast these matches, especially with co commentators, rather than try to cast them and play them at the same time. So I'm very happy we get to do this, and soon the semi, uh, the quarterfinals. And the semis and then the finals will begin so this will be a very interesting week thank you all very much for joining and i will see you next time